Hi all, welcome back to our next tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we will try to complete our whole schematic, and then we can move on to uh, the layout designing. So, this is the part where we left in the last tutorial that we see uh, saw how to make custom uh, components who have a generic uh, footprint, and uh, now we are going to complete the schematic. So. I suggest when you uh, go to make the schematics, then uh, make the sub parts of the circuit. So basically, uh, the circuits can be very complicated and they can be very big, and it gets uh, very messy when you make it on the single page. So what I usually do is basically I uh, I do it uh, in the sub circuit part. So let's say this is a triple five timer, then I make one part of a triple five timer. In. If I have a power section in the circuit, then I make it separately. If I have some different section uh, in the circuit, I make it separately. So that's how it works. So I'm going to do that here again. So how we can make the sub circuits, go to place and new sub circuit. So let's say one of my sub, sub circuit is triple five timer. I will just do OK and I will just place this block over here. And I am going to make one more sub circuit which is a power. So we will going how we will how we will give the power to this triple five timer through this sub circuit. So I am going to press the OK and place it over here. If I double click on the SC1 part, it gives an option to open the sub sheet. So as you can see it has opened the subsheet just beside the design one which is our complete circuit so go to power open the subsheet just like that it will open another subsection into this one so i usually don't draw any schematic on the main file which is our design file so just i will just do this control x go to triple five timer section and control v okay so yeah so so let's say that we have to uh, in the data sheet we have to complete this circuit uh, and this circuit as you can see that there is a triple five timer there is a resistor there is a capacitor and which we already have all these components inside there is the resistor capacitor and triple five timer apart from that uh, there is a switch push button switch there is one uh, this is a led basically so we can add this leds as well and the push button as well so how we can add it so go to place components not in the user database go to the main the user database is basically the database that we create um, manually and the master database is which is already available inside the software we have discussed that already so let's say that uh, in the diode section you will find the led right here so i'm going to let's say that using the red i will place it over here and another component that was needed was the switch basics there is a switch the ipsw1 this is the switch it is a push button switch but it's i think okay that we can use any kind of switch it's just a switch yeah so now we have all the components that is required and if we have to repeat the components like uh, there are lots of resistors used in the circuit like this is the resistor uh, this is the resistor then you can just uh, simply copy sorry you can just simply click on uh, the component like that okay, I'm just again okay you can just click on that control C just make control V and as you can see that another part similar part will appear and you can change its value as well if this is a 10k and uh, you can change it to any value let's say 1k uh, the ohm is the ohm sign is already given over here so you don't have to put ohm 
so 1k or if you want to just put it into ohm value then you can just go into 100 and don't put k now because all ohm is already given so 100k 10k whatever your value is so let's say 470 ohm is the needed value so i will just go ok and its value will change all right so i will just show couple of uh, uh, connections that how you can do and then I believe that you can uh, do the rest of uh, the connection by yourself so let's say that uh, pin 2 is connected to switch and then the switch is connected to the ground alright so let's say that pin number 2 is connected to the switch so let me you can just uh, move the position by dragging it on to some another place like this and what i'm doing right now is bringing this component near to pin number two so the pin number two is supposed to be connected here and another part of his has to be connected place a component in the basic not in the basic in the sources you will see the ground so i will just place it over here and that's it so as you can see in the diagram that pin number two is connected to one side of the switch and another side of the switch is connected to the ground and this part where the pin number two is connected is going to the 10k and then it is going to 8 pin number 8 so let me just first of all connect this 10k value where is the 10k i will just control c control v place it over here so this two number pin is again connected to this resistor which is a 10k and then 10k is connected to pin number 8 let's see the circuit so this pin number 2 is going to be 10k and this 10k is, is connected to pin number 8 and pin number 8 is nothing but the vcc so now what i can do is basically i can just drag the wire from here to let's say over here this is a big connection or i can just put a connector like this place go to connector i usually use the global connector because that's so let's say i name it vcc and give it okay i will just drag this ground away from this name so that it won't look messy so this is it so i have connected the vcc and uh, I can just copy this VCC and connect it over here to pin number 8. So now I don't have to drag this wire from here to here. I just connect it through the, con through the uh, VCC, pa uh, through the global connector from here to here. I can place as many as uh, connectors as I want to. Uh, that won't be a problem and i believe that rest of the connections you can manage to make by yourself so uh, i won't be making all the connections in front of you because that would be a very long video so i believe uh, we will just right skip to the part where i have made all the triple five timer connection so we have uh, made all the connections of the triple five timer uh, so this is the one sub circuit that we have completed there is one another sub circuit which is a power so uh, so you can see the VCC over here is basically the power and uh, let's say that uh, uh, this IC works on from what is it 5 to 15 volt okay and uh, that we are getting a voltage of 20 volt from the battery and then we have to again run the triple five timer so if we provide the 20 volt directly over here which is beyond its operating voltage uh, it will damage 
uh, the, this uh, triple five time or this IC, right? So what we can do is we can place a regulator uh, into the circuit, and uh, let's say that we are going to use. Uh, a regulator which I have already downloaded the data sheet LM317 so this is the circuit of LM317 and uh, you can just uh, we have to just uh, draw this circuit so you can grab the component from here so every time you don't have to basically uh, uh, go into this section and search for the component you can just search it from here as well if you know the name of the component lm317 i know the name so i'm just going it over here lmah317 there are multiple um, uh, packages over here as you can see footprints are different but let's say i have to use this one only okay okay and i will place it over here so now you know how to exactly uh, add the rest of the component like capacitor, resistor and all that and uh, there is one component I guess that is new over here which is uh, thermistor uh, no what we call it I'm sorry varistor so uh, it basically varies the resistance um, that is that we require so I think if we are going to use uh, let's say a constant voltage then we won't be needing that you can use uh, a constant value instead of this varistor uh, so you know how to uh, uh, how to add these components or you can just uh, copy let's say this and this and this so i'm just copying what uh, resistor capacitor and the ground because that we will be needing over there as well control C control V yeah so basically whatever you need you can just now copy and paste it over here and use it in this circuit where you want to so I'm again not going to do it in front of you but I will just uh, tell one thing before that now the VCC over here is coming from this power circuit which is the output of this IC so let's say that I am providing a 12 volt in the V in uh, by the way we don't need that but uh, let me connect it anyway the global connector I will just plot it I will just name it okay so I'm providing a 20 volt inside this IC and uh, I'm getting the output which is basically this VCC so this is a global connector that we have used from here from place connectors and the global connector so this global connectors can be used from across any sub circuits so I created this uh, global connector when we was making the triple five timer circuit but I can just copy it Compact using control C and I can just paste it over here and it will get connected so basically now this part of the circuit the V out pin of this LM317 IC is connected with the 8th pin which is the VCC and all the VCC in this circuit so isn't that great it's an easy peasy kind of a solution and uh, as i said i'm not going to again go through all circuit designing uh, uh, in front of you so i will just uh, skip directly where i have made the complete schematic uh, so all right guys so as you can see that the circuit is completed uh, this is the connector uh, from where I have placed a, from where the connection from the battery which is outside of the PCB will come so the 20 volt will go here the battery's ground will go over here and which will go into V in uh, we will get the VCC and the VCC will go to triple five timers VCC and that's how the circuit will work I can delete this component now because we don't need it in this section and as you can see our schematic is completed so I hope that you have enjoyed or oh, where did that part of our 
okay it's in the upper side okay so as you can see in the design part uh, the triple five timer is here the power section sub circuit is here and uh, that's how we complete the schematic in the next tutorial we will go to how to uh, design the layout and uh, i hope that is going to be very fun and interesting part so till then have a very good night as you can see it's around one in the indian time and i hope now i'm going to sleep so please subscribe to our channel free knowledge and keep getting free knowledge as well thank you very much